Te voy con él. Te voy con él. Mmm. Hey. Welcome to this episode of Making It Work. Howdy. We're going to talk a little bit about this guy. Where's the rest of him, right? He has lost... My profile. <laughs> 35 pounds. Woo! And his numbers are excellent. As far as the diabetes, he's still a little bit high in sugar, but... Um, uh, Triglycerides went from 600 to 130, and um, HDLs. I can toot my own heart. <laughs> um, uh, cholesterol and stuff. All those numbers were great. The the good cholesterol was still a little bit low, but and other than that, he did. I did just about all of it without prescribed chemicals. <laughs> you do take. I take metformin. metformin. But eventually, and that's uh, been cut plan, in half. Yeah, but that's been cut in half. I plan on eventually coming completely off metformin, and it's doable. If yes. you've got type two diabetes, it is doable. But it takes discipline, and it takes persistence, and it takes a persistent wife, <laughs> and above all, it takes a gracious God. Yes, amen. And he is also walking um, a little over two miles, three or four times a week. And uh, mm -hmm. that that has helped a lot too. So, yeah. one of the things that we've done is we've gone completely, obviously sugar free, yeah. and um, also grain free. We are adding a few things like some brown rice back in right now, and we'll probably try some oatmeal and stuff like that. But for right now, for the most part, we are doing completely grain free. My uh, and you can do it. Yeah, I yeah. was. I used to travel a lot and I used to make sure I went to restaurants that had good bread. That was my Achilles heel. That and uh, pastas mm. and, uh, and baked potatoes, which is a starch, which is a form of a, another sugar. It turns to sugar. It turns to sugar really quick in your body. So we went, we started off with going, wanting to go 40 days with our, we were going to do a 40 day fast with our church away from you know you give up certain things for the 40 days and the things we gave up were the sugars, uh, the sugars and, the and the grains and after about a week of that I wasn't feeling right so I went to the doctor and they diagnosed me with diabetes and of course when they called me to tell me that I hung up on the doctor because <clears throat> that's almost to me like a cancer call and uh, so well when I called them back and we went back and we learned they said we've got to change my whole they, they talk about diet, 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 and I said it's not going to be a diet, this is going to be a life change. So it's a lifestyle change that we did. Absolutely. It wasn't a diet change. Um, we're, we're it was lost. a diet change, yeah. but it's not a diet that you go on and go off. Right. Like this is a lifestyle, lifestyle change. Lifestyle change, and I st it's a whole lot better. I used to have um, chronic acid, um, reflux. acid reflux. I haven't had that in a while. Probably almost since you started. Yeah. So in January. So this is now um, May. So we've been on this. Well, after that, we di we decided that because we decided to do the fast, that we discovered all this stuff, and that that whole thing may have saved my life. Um, and that's why I'm saying, look, guys, you can do this. Anybody can do this. <clears throat> it just takes willpower. It takes grace and it takes your wife committed to it. She committed to it with me. She went on the same was on the same diet. I was already sort of eating that way anyway because of the the colitis that we, I was diagnosed with back in sixteen. Yeah, and that was on another episode where she talked about that. So the whole thing is this. It's doable. Anything in life is doable if you got your mindset. And I didn't change I 
had a hard time with it at first because my body kept wanting those grains and wanting those those uh, starchy foods. We don't even crave it now. No. I had a I had a biscuit the other day from a fast food store and it just didn't taste good. <laughs> um, and that's because my body had gotten used to being without it. But there's a lot of foods that we can eat that are just as good. And what we're going to show you tonight or today is one of those things we discovered um, in foreign countries like in Haiti and third world countries. They have a root called cassava, and they make they make that's their staple food down there. Um, when I lived there, that's well, all a lot of what they ate was cassava bread. Well, yeah, he used to say that's what they make peanut butter for to cover up the cassava bread. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. makes it palatable. And uh, it was nasty tasting, but they got now I actually they like got cassava that. flour here. That's for a small bag. It's over five bucks. Um, but what the benefits we get out of it are? It's it is not your starch that you would have in your flour. It's still starchy. But it's, it's the, not a grain. That it's a good starch. It's, yeah, it's a, better, um, it's a better starch. Not that you can go hog wild, but that you can have it and not be so concerned yeah. about what you're so having. So we're going to work on pizza dough because yeah. that was one of the things he was like, I'm never going to have pizza again. But yeah. We figured it because he doesn't like cauliflower. Oh, we could do so much with cauliflower, but <laughs> no, anyway. No. So what's, what is in here is... Um, one and a half cups of cassava flour and a cup of arrowroot flour. Now notice these are roots. A lot of the, okay. the things that are good for a diabetic person are root based or berry based. So just remember that. Okay, this is two teaspoons of sea salt and a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. Or that could be reversed, I don't know. Can't tell anymore. Can't remember what it looked like. Okay, so we're gonna kind of mix these up together. I do love the way the cassava flour smells. I don't know why, but it's it is poofy. You do have to be careful about that. Now she did mention the weight loss, right? Your weight loss? Yeah. I just He's lost 35, I've lost 5. What's up with that? Hey, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then we are going to add a couple of eggs. The whole egg? Yes. Now remember, this is not a... Um, <laughs> it's, it, it's, you got to remember that it's a mindset. It's a definitely a mindset. This is a half a cup of olive oil. And then you're supposed to add a cup of wa water, just plain water, which of course I use distilled water. But um, I always think that that's too much, that it ends up too watery. So I'm not gonna add quite a whole cup. Stir this up a little bit, get an idea of what's going on here. And yes, on these quarters. kind of menus, we do use a, a note card because we want to remember them. Amy does really good cooking. When we sit there and eat, and I said, "What? How did you make this?" She goes, "I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I did it." And I said, "Well, how are we supposed to repeat it?" Well, I'll just try it again. Every time, it's different. But yeah, this, this, is almost too runny this to me is just as good, if not better, dough. It's going to be a thin crust. It's not the thick crust. But it's just as good a uh, pizza as you would get at your pizza delivery stores or places. So, to me, and he likes it reheated too. Yeah, that's you the other thing that's you uh, yeah. that's very unusual about this is when you reheat the this pizza. So you've got leftovers and you reheat it in the microwave. It doesn't get soggy. It it stays the same consistency as it was when you cooked it. We're gonna have to add a little more flour, actually. The cassava flour. <clears throat> There's a little bit left. It's the. This is the cassava flour that we're using. 
No, they did not sponsor us. No, they did not sponsor us. They could, though. They could. <laughs> I'd love that. This is the way I cook. We don't measure everything. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yep. Yeah, because definitely don't need more of that. Okay, and then after, this is looking better. After this, after this gets mixed up together, then we're just going to let it sit for five minutes, and that also thickens it up a bit, too. Also, I just want to talk a little bit about diabetes. Diabetes can be a killer if it's not taken care of. Um, you eat starches, it adds to the problem. Alcohol adds to the problem. I'm not saying any of this stuff is bad or good, I'm just saying that's what adds to the problem. The, uh, the, the cassava flour is a, a root, and you can usually eat any of the things that's called berries. You um, mean anything that ends in berries? Ends in berries. So um, I asked if we could have pizza berry, but uh, the doc said that didn't count. Um, but you can, you can eat this kind of stuff. Of course, you've got to learn portion size. That's been difficult. I go up and down on the portion size. Um, but you don't have to take all the chemicals that they want to give you. When he says chemicals, he's talking about the drugs. You know, they wanted him to, obviously he's taking metformin. They said his numbers were bad enough when he was first diagnosed that he could have been put on insulin. And um, yeah. thankfully, he, that didn't happen. Um, they wanted him to take a statin. They wanted him to take this, that, and the other thing, just in case, and all this stuff. Yeah, a lot of the... We were like, you know what, we just really want to try diet and exercise. This is, this is the way I look at it. They want to give you all that stuff just in case you have problems with this, just in case you have problems with that. But if you look at the side effects of all this medicine, it comes back and says it had these side effects. Well, then you've got to take more pills of this kind to counteract right, those pills. So, effects. I'm under the belief system that I'm not going to go driving down the road and when I see a tire shop, buy a tire just because, just because I might have a blowout. I will take care of the blowout when I have a blowout. Um, and that's just the attitude I have toward all this. If I come across an issue where I've got to have something that needs controlling, then I will discuss options. I won't necessarily just take a pill that's thrown at me. So yeah, this is still... So we'll be, uh, we'll be right back. Um, time for commercial. <laughs> okay, through the magic of TV, ta -da! Can you see all this? All this? You can't. It's not even in the picture. Okay, right, we are going to spread this. It says into 10 inch things, but it also said to, you know, have a whole lot more water than that, too. And it just didn't work. What are you doing? Hey, by the what way, I've got a little, uh, little more ants, energy. Ants in your pants? Oh, yes. Yes, he definitely does. And he can walk his two miles now without getting out of breath. He used to not be able to walk over to the shop without getting out of breath. This this pizza has the four fa major food groups. The four major food groups? Major mood groups. <laughs> We've got cheese, cheese, and cheese, and meat. And we've got a fruit and now a pizza sauce. Veggies. We'll have our veggies separate, I guess. Plus, over here, this is cream cheese and butter mix. Okay, yeah, so the last time I made this, made pizzas, um, we decided to try like a chicken cordon bleu type pizza. Just Ooh. just seeing what we could do with Ooh, that. Was that, good? that one so disappeared before everything else. Got the like, cream cheese, butter, um, some mustard, some lemon juice, and that's going to be like the sauce. And then we'll add chicken and ham to it, and oh, top it with Swiss cheese. We're yeah. going to do that on half of one of these. It's good. Matter of fact, the people we had over for that meal, they came the next day and that evening. I met up with them, and they wanted the recipe. Right. They, no recipe. We're just making it up as we go. So we thought we'd go ahead and throw it in a video and then instead of saying um, here's the destructions, here is how we made it. We just send you the video link or you can just get on on making it work and see what we've done to make it work. Diabetes but, does I mean, not have to be like, a bummer. It can be a it can be a good thing. It's maybe 
three ounces of cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter, of, of mustard. Um, like two, two tablespoons? No, not of teaspoons, mustard. Two teaspoons. Maybe a teaspoon of mustard. Maybe a teaspoon of mustard. That's what's in that part. Make this one just a little bit bigger. So. Oh, we're, we're spreading this out on parchment paper. We put the stones into the oven to preheat with while you know while the oven was preheating, and then uh, we'll put if you haven't had, onto it. If you haven't tried, the oven is at 425. That's very important. If you haven't tried cooking with a stone in the oven for pizza doughs and stuff like that, you're missing out. It really does make a big difference. This smells so good already. I think it's the garlic and the onion powder that's in the bread. So what we're going to do is um, actually bake this for a few minutes, for about, I think it's 12 minutes or so, and then take it out, put the toppings on, and finish baking it just until the cheese is melted because all of our toppings are already cooked. And see, all this food that you see here is stuff that a um, person that has diabetes can have. Except maybe the pineapple. you got to be careful on the yeah. fruit because the fruit has a tendency of having a lot of sugars. And they call it fast sugars or what they've, call, what they've told me it's called fast sugars because it, it's more liquid and it gets into your system really fast. Like I didn't know that bananas were considered a... Um, two servings. A, two servings. One banana is considered two servings of fruit. So when it says uh, so, many, so much fruit in your diet, you can only have one serving of fruit per meal or something like that, you have to cut the banana in half legitimately. Or you just. Or. That's your two servings yeah, for the day. Yeah, that's my two servings for the day. So my breakfast is usually consists of a banana with peanut butter on it. So I can get the. the pick up from the banana, the sugars from the banana, and also the protein. The, the protein. The protein is probably the more important piece if you've got diabetes. Eating a lot of starchy stuff like chips. See, I don't eat chips anymore. Um, I eat some. Some, well, at least some certain like, kinds. Yeah, more of a veggie chip. Yeah, more type. of a veggie chip. But then again, you got to be careful on that. If you eat too much of that, you can go um, too high on your sugar also. Okay, let me get the stones out. Or the, I guess we're using one pan, one stone. So the smaller one can go on here. See how she did that? Yeah, this please. one's harder. Oh. I love the stone, but it is definitely harder to use. I can't see. And there we go. Put we'll it in the. Let those bake for 12 minutes. And then when we take it out, we'll it. show you what we do next. So hang on. Here's a word from our sponsors. We don't have any sponsors. Man. See, if you are a sponsor, you would have had a place in the spot? video. Okay, through the magic of TV, we're back. And these are nicely browned on the edge. So they look good. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. They look good, see? All right. That's hot. Which one? Let's okay. do this one with all meat. I'm, I'm here to watch and taste test. Half of this one to do her, I don't know. What do you want to do? Um, let's do half cordon bleu here. Okay. So this is the sauce for the cordon bleu one. Cream cheese, butter, whatever we said before. And it took a man to whip it. Okay. Just whipped it good. Whip it, whip it good. Ooh, that sounds kind of funny. Sounds like a baby in bath water. And 
Man, if we had smell o vision, y'all, yeah, this would this be. Yeah, this isn't smell o vision. This is some good smelling stuff. You got a bear spot right there. There you go. It won't, it won't cover there. All right. Chicken. It sounds kind of funny, but it, the pizza cordon blue. Well, it was really good. It was really good. Hope it turns out this time. We never know. And then some ham. We have a scavenger behind us on the floor. This dog can hear food falling off the counter. He can hear the cheese thing you open. Thing and uh, sure. be in the living room, come running out here. And before the food hits the floor, he's got it. Oh, Just hearing it fall. Okay. Yeah, so, what goes in Cordon Bleu? A little sour. Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese, yeah. Some chicken, some ham, some uh, cream cheese, some butter, and ooh la la. Lots of proteins. Yeah, much as the proteins. Okay, we had some um, spaghetti sauce left over last night, so that's what we're gonna use for our pizza sauce, but a lot of times I'll make it like with tomato paste or with fire roasted um, Canned tomatoes. To tomatoes, yeah. But in this case, we're gonna use the... Nice and thick. Now the spaghetti sauce has a mixture of uh, hamburger and ground turkey. Uh, ground turkey which is more healthy for you than just straight hamburger. Well, and, and the burger that we use it, the, is um, grass-fed organic. Yeah. Our diet also, the whole thing with the diabetes, is natural um, products like grass-fed beef. Um, because if the, if the beef is eating corn and grains, then you're going to be eating corn and grains. But if, if the if what you eat has been eating grass, then you know you're you're eating vegetarian meat. <laughs> I don't know what the they were secondhand vegetarians. There you go. We eat the know. cow that eats the grass. We, we try to eat. We're just trying to eat really, really clean. That's what it comes down to. Oh, the dryer turned off. Did you hear it? The silence. Alrighty. It really is good. We'll we'll cut it. When we get it out, we'll let you see it. But then we're going to eat, and you're going to have to just imagine how it tastes. We are having some veggies, too. Trust yeah, me. yeah, we're having veggies. I'm going to have carrots. What are you going to have? What do you have with your pizza? Hey, list that below. That's what okay. do you have with your pizzas? And I'm not talking about drinks, like beer or whatever. I'm talking about what do you eat along with your pizza? Vegetables help your stomach digest your food. You making this up as you go? <laughs> I got to. I got no other content. Okay, I got to come up with something. This one is going to be pineapple and ch and ham with cheddar. The dryer quit, but the dogs over here are chewing on a rawhide. Yeah. And if our microphone is good enough, it doesn't have a dead cat on it, but it does have a foam cover. You probably be hearing be? that. We don't have a dead cat, but we've got a foam cat. I yeah, guess. foam cat. Yeah. A stuffed cat? A cushioned cat. Okay, also you guys, sometimes it's good to be in the kitchen with your wife while you're cooking. Cause you can, I like it. It's enjoyable. Um, right, I'm you can have an evening together doing stuff. And this could be a date night. Consider it a date night. You put some ham in that one. Now she's going to make me work for my meal. Pineapple on here. I'm glad I licked my fingers. They're clean. It's good to have clean hands when you do this. No picking your nose. How does that sound good? I ain't gonna ask. This will be. This will be good. Boop. There's an inside joke to that one. That looks like my head's cut off, doesn't it? Oh well. He's there. The important parts there. <laughs> I think that's enough ham, huh? Probably. 
Probably. All right, taste test. Yep. Okay, put some. Uh, we're using um, we un, we uncured have, hard salami. We do have an audience watching this episode. <clears throat> Would you like to taste test on that? It is good. All right. There you She's being very quiet. Being very. We told her she can't laugh during the episode, so she took her collar off her dog. Because I'd probably make a comment. Because it has little dingy, little jingly bells going on. You just need to hush. <laughs> that is not a funny noise. The dog, the dog down there with her thing, the rod. All right. Pineapple juice, not good for diabetes. Hey, we need. Okay, got you taking this. We didn't have a whole lot of mozzarella. This is how we do on making it work, even in the kitchen. Yeah, you know the Use problem. Use leftover spaghetti sauce and mix our cheeses. We've had a lot of episodes on sourdough. Um, being as we're off of grains, um, we can't have sourdough. I can have it every now and then. Um, so, Amy but it is being very well taken care of at um, my niece's house. She is using it and feeding it. The, that particular starter is now over three years old. And she is making use of it. Y'all, this okay. is going to be so good. So good. Alrighty, let's put All it right. in the oven. Into the oven she goes. It's hot. And we will make this work. Are you going like that? Yep. It's hot. Doesn't matter. And none of this will be left over here when we come back. It's hot there. Um, we just baked it until the cheese is melted, basically, because all is, our toppings were cooked. This is why. Okay. All right, we're back. Smellovision vision with Smellorama. Turn on your Smellorama, and you can figure out how this smells. This is the chicken cordon bleu. Oh, let me zoom in. Is the chicken cordon bleu? This is ham and pineapple. Meat. <laughs> yeah, all meat pizza. And our veggies. Thanks for watching this episode of Making It Work. Yep, we appreciate it. Click on the little dinghy down there, the little bell. The little dinghy down there. <laughs> we're in a boat. We've just been capsized. Um, and uh, share this with others. And remember, diabetes is manageable. It doesn't always require medicine. Amen. Done. So, we're going to... Mmm. -hmm.